Good evening. I'm interested in your uh, services. And what is it you'd like? Uh, I'll certainly need a physician to treat my wounds. Then a hot bath and uh, launder in my clothes. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Good luck, then. So what are we to do with you, Henry? Matthew and Fritz and their regards. They survived. My God, I'm glad. They helped me out a lot. And where did you see them? In Sassau. I bumped into them in front of the tavern. Where else? And how are they doing? They're doing fine. The monks brought them back to health. But they don't have work, and they're in debt. You wouldn't happen to know of any jobs going for two lazy carpenters. Not here. And I think it will be the same in all of Ratai. It's overcrowded with refugees, and they're all looking for work. Mm, that's bad. Those two need work badly to keep them out of mischief. You know what they're like. I do indeed. Try the mills in the smaller hamlets. The miller in the Dechko is old. Maybe he could use some strong hands. I will. Thanks. I've brought you something. Um, I must have dropped it somewhere. Probably wasn't the best idea anyway. So, uh, how have you been? 
I can't stop thinking about Scalitz. I know. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like hey, a walk? Lad, don't That's you not a bad idea. And where would you care to go? What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Let's go. a good idea to go for a walk. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it. So I'm glad you took me out. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too, so don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what. Let's not doddle. Last one is a slimy slug. Fun. Sit down here next to me, Hal. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Oh, it's endless luxury, money, banquets, games stuffed with other games. <laughs> a chicken stuffed with... stuffed with a frog. Yeah, and that's nothing compared to a frog stuffed with a chicken. <laughs> a goat stuffed... <laughs> <laughs> with a pig? <laughs> Now then. Oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. <laughs> the only one here whose head is all messed up is me. How do you always manage to look so good? Just look at the lady killer. Where did you learn to talk that way? Mm. I don't recall which church service it was exactly. 
<laughs> you scoundrel. But you certainly know how to make a girl feel special. You may continue. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten you. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. You can't avoid this forever, you know. You just won't give me a break, will you? Fine. I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got! But maybe I could... Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that Bait is. goods fresh from the oven. Come and get them. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. You come there. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dovecote. Under a dovecote? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dovecots could there be in Scalitz? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. Bread! Bread! Rolls and pretzels! Good day to you. How does life in Ratai suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in. But then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Radzig sides with the king. You're here about the water, Caroline? I am. Where do I get some pails? Hold your horses. We haven't decided yet who gets the job. I have to ask you a few things first. What for? I can handle the job. But ask away. What trade did you do before? I worked in the mines, at the winch. You've heard of Tonda the winch, right? Strong as a bull. Ah, the name sounds familiar. You were one of the new miners, weren't you? I was. I came last autumn. The winter was mild enough to work the mines, and I showed everyone I was a hard worker. So do I get the job? Uh, we're not finished yet. Are you here because you want to carry water? Well, I'd rather be back at the winch. Turning it so fast I'd make everyone's head spin. But now I want to carry water at least. Since there's some money in it. Garlic, onions, mushrooms, and asparagus. Come right up. 
I know everything I need. So, can I go carry water then? Not yet. I'll tell the bailiff and he'll choose. Well, I hope he cheeses me. Otherwise, I might be very angry. If you think I'm afraid of you, you're mistaken. We'll see. Good luck to you. God be with you. You hear about the water, Carrion? Aye. I can hold water all day long. So, do you want the job? There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want it. What do I have to do? So tell me, what was your trade before? I was a miner, then a farm laborer, then I was a servant, then I fled from Scullitz and ended up here. Quite the fat totem, aren't you? Was none of those jobs good enough for you? Uh, I liked them all. But they were always sending me to do something else. Pickman, they'd say. Leave this and go and do that. Pickman? That's your name? Uh, actually, my real name's Wasser. But they call me Pickman. Is that German? No. It's from when I was in the mines. Digging with a pick. Besides water, you could carry, um, you could empty latrines. What? Carry shit? <laughs> That'd be a new one for me. No, it's not a thing I'd go around boasting about. That's enough for now. So, we're agreed then? When do I start working? Look, the bailiff is the one who will decide after I report back to him. So... I might not get the job? I'll be in the shit if I don't. Understand? May the Lord watch over you. Not talking to me? Good day to you. What do you need? Are you here on account of the water carrier? Yes, I am. My name is Vincent. Nice to meet you. I'll ask a few questions and we'll see. All right? Fine. I ask away. What did you do before this? I worked for my father. Doing what? Who's your father, anyway? He's... He was Moimir. We had a farm near Scarlet's. Really? His farmhands came to the tavern a lot, but I never saw you there. Uh, I don't go to taverns. So you're probably here about carrying water, right? Aye. I want to carry what? That's all. You've nothing more to add? That's what's needed, ain't it? How are you holding up? Well, I'm alive. But I miss my father. And the farm, too. But Ma says there's no use dwelling on it. Life must go on. What happened with Bailiff? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. Uh, I don't know. I didn't talk to him at all. That's enough for now. Take care now. Not talking to me? Good day to you. What do you need? What do you want? I want to work. And I heard you're the one in charge of giving out jobs, not the bailiff. It's true. Do you know how to cook? If you know how to make food for nobles, then I might have something for you. Where would I learn to cook food for nobles? I want to carry water. But Alex has already picked people who want to carry water. He didn't ask me, though. So I came here myself. Look, I already have more people than jobs. You're a bit late. But I really need a job. Well, so does everyone else around here. None of them has a husband on his deathbed. What did you do in Scalitz? I was at the Silverworks, roasting the ore and washing it. My husband was at the smelter. Oh, Christ. Things got very ugly there. 
I suppose that's where your husband was wounded? It's a miracle you managed to drag him all the way to Ratai. What else could I do? Leave him there? He's dying. He's badly wounded. So poorly he's been in his bed for weeks. Unconscious most of the time. Sorry to hear it. I already owe the apothecary a small fortune. And he won't lift a finger for us now. All right. I'll think about it and talk to the bailiff. And you'll tell him to take me, right? Take care. God be with you. You're interested in carrying water? I am. It's about time something good came to decent folk. I agree. Now, I'll ask you a few questions. What? But I want the work and I deserve it. Keep your questions for good for nothings. There's also the option of, um, emptying latrines. Are you trying to insult me? That's no job for a decent Christian. True. That's why it pays double. Double, hey? Well, that's not bad, not bad. But, uh, for a man of my stature, no doubt there are more needy souls. Hmm. Double. Hmm. What makes you so deserving? How did you make a living before this? I was the owner of a mine. Well, I had a lease on it. But in our line of work, it amounts to the same thing. The chief, eh? But have you ever hauled a bucket of ore up a hill? There's no hill in a mine. Just a shaft with a winch. That's enough for now. May the Lord watch over you. Good people, come up close and have a smell. Good health to you. You're one of the people interested in work? Well, Alex told me that I'm supposed to ask about a job carrying water. That's right. But first, I'll ask you a few questions. You are... Peter. But everyone calls me Rock. There was more than enough Peters in the mines. And not just in the mines. So... How badly do you want to carry water? Well, right now there doesn't seem to be much work around for miners. And at least I can earn a few groschen. It's not easy work, though. It's a long way to carry water. Do you think it was easier in the mines? Digging through rock on your knees all day for months on end? There's one more option. Carrying shit. What? For the knacker? It's a job. But what would people say? I need money badly, but I couldn't go back to mining after that. All right. I understand. That's enough for now. God be with you. <coughs> what the... God preserve you, good knight. Can I do something for you? I asked around in Sassau. Father Francis is doing well in Sassau. He has no plans to return to St. James any time soon. You talk to him? How is he doing? Doesn't he need his cassock fixed? He's always tearing it. There isn't a pew or a step he hasn't tripped over at one time or another. As I said, he's doing just fine. May the Lord watch over you. Take care.
Good health to you. I know everything I need to know to pick the carriers. Splendid. I'll be glad to get this damn business off my back. So how have you decided? So, how do we do this? Do I just give you their names, or should I send for them? Just tell me their names and whether they should carry water or something else. Don't worry, I'll send for them. Tonda. They call him the Winch. The Winch? Ought to be good with a bucket anyway. What's he going to do? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Cornelius. Ah, Cornelius. I had him here once looking for a job. Where do you want to put him? I'd like to see him with buckets of shit. Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Antonia. What? A woman? Yeah, is that a problem? You never said it had to be only men. I didn't, but I kind of assumed it would be clear. It's a long walk with a heavy load, man's work. She can handle the job. Have no fear. Let's hope so. You'll have to answer to me if she can't. Where do we put her, then? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Vasu. Goes by the moniker of Pikmin. Pikmin? I hope he doesn't have a history of pickpocketing. No, no. They call him Pikmin because he worked in the silver mines, and he was very keen with the pick. So much so, he managed to chop off two of his fingers. Well, he can't do too much damage with a bucket, I suppose. Where do you want to put him? Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Peter, better known as Rock. Peter? Rock? Didn't he get into a fight and injure his arm? Well, what should he do? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? That's it. Good. All decided. Now about the cook's job. I chose a cook as well. Should I tell you or go to Hagen? Tell me who you chose and I'll take care of it. I chose old Agnes for the cook's job. I had a job convincing her, but it was worth it. She's the best cook around. Glad to hear it. I'll have to drop in on Hagen for lunch sometime. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Take care of it. You'll find it nowhere else. Told you, don't come back to me till you've beaten Stephen and Ringland. Got it? Farewell. Good health, dear. You're Stephen, aren't you? Milan tells me he won't fight me until I beat you. Oh, yeah? And why would you want to? Well, never mind. I'll fight you if you pay me. What do you say? Well, well.
I do. <laughs> With salt, caraway seeds, garlic, and more, yeah, you'll yeah. find it Good. in New <laughs> God be with you. Aren't you Ringler? Milan says I have to beat you before he'll take me on. And you're that blacksmith's lad, right? What do you want out of it? You're not living in the dirt here like the rest of us. Maybe not. But why shouldn't I try and beat some coin out of him too? Yeah, and you can pass it on to us that need it. If you want to fight me, you dandy, then pay up. Or fuck off. God be with you. Kunda. Makes goods, handy implements. Let's fight. You gave those two a pretty good hiding, and I made a grosh or two in bets. You scallops fellows are good for my purse.
Good luck to you. God bless you. What troubles you? How goes it, sir? Are you recovered? I am, for all the good it does. The boredom here. The only thing I have to read is the Bible. And the Hanush won't let anyone near me but the priest. Have you any idea the monotonous drivel that fella comes out with? This world is but a trial. Be repentant. He talks to me as if I'm about to breathe my last. Actually... Talks to me as if I were already dead. Listen, Henry, won't you come with me to the Rate Baths? I, I need a change of scene before moss starts growing on me. But what about your wound, sir? Well, I won't lie to you. It hurts like the devil. But I'd rather hobble along with a cane, howling in pain, than listen to a selection of the most boring passages from the Gospels for one more minute. How much time do you want to spend there? I don't know yet, but at least a few days. Bathing in mud wraps during the day and in the evening. But in the evening, fun. What do you say? Will you join me? Why to the baths? Well, a hot bath does a man good. <laughs> it does. Which is why you can bath here any time you like. Have you ever seen Clara, the bathhouse wench? Henry, she's a beauty. If I didn't know better, I'd say I was in love with her. Why not? 
When do you want to go? I shall go there right away, but wait until at least dusk to join me. I'll have company there. All right, I'll come and join you there. See you later. God save you, Henry! Good day to you. Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. All right, so. All right, so. Good weather at last. Great! Spades, forks, and axes. All you need to pay mother. God be with you. Good luck to you. I feel a bit sorry. Good day to you. What do you need? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? I've got other things on my mind. Farewell.
Good day to you. What do you need? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? How should I know? May the Lord watch over you. Yeah. Here I am, sir. What do you need, sir? I need you to do me a favor, Henry. What, again? Now, what's your tone, peasant? Well, you'd never think it, but Stenna here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare ass naked, and I couldn't even get a ribbon off her. <laughs> Well, I'll rip everything off her then, eh? Good God! You do that to such a fragile flower? Who I paid for, by the way. Right then, you've got to beat Zdena at dice. I refuse to be the only one here with his ass on show. All right, why the hell not? How about a game of dice, then? Are you sure? What would I do with two naked men here? <laughs> Let's see how good you are. Goodbye. We'll see whose side Lady Luck is on. Maybe you'd have more luck if you'd remember to throw the other dice. Now you. Well, well, I wasn't expecting that. Hmm.
finished. My, my, some real competition at last. You know I'll let you win, of course. Bad move, but I'm proud of you. That'll do me. I could do with a good soak too. Then strip off and hop in here. All right, why not? Put your clothes in the trunk. Shift over. I don't want to tread on anything vital. All right, just give me a moment and I'll roll it up again. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. Now, don't take this personally, but I've never seen a man more in need of a wash. <laughs> I've known cowpats less fragrant. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly know how to have a good time. Here, drink. It's not terribly high quality, but it should do the job. I don't mind if I do. Give me that. That's the spirit. So this is how you recuperate from your injuries? Booze and wenches? Of course. Is there any other way? So, what news, Henry? You know about that nasty business at Neuhof I'm investigating. And what about it? I don't know what to make of it. I can't understand why men would act that way. You can't afford to cock it up. Henry, it's too important. Have you heard they caught a cumin at Virgin Mill? I heard something about that. Did you have something to do with it? In a way. Believe it or not, that heathen bastard led me to some treasure. Treasure? Now why would a cumin do that? Let's just say I didn't give him much choice. <laughs> nice work, Henry. Never mind about me. What about you? Have you recovered from our hunting adventure? I'm well enough, Henry. These baths are just the thing, and Zena here is very healing. You'll keep an eye on things here, won't you? Clara, bring some wine for the gents before they get cross. You know what, Henry? We really can't drink this local piss. Clara, my most favourite bathmaid. 
But, but I admit it, my dear. The wine you have here is p p p pitiful. What's wrong with the bathhouse wine? I'd rather drink the bath water. You should go and get something better. Though where? Ah, I know. In the cellars under the rat house, there's some excellent wine that Sir Hanush bought for us. And you want me to go there and get it now? Well, I'd be indebted to you. And a grateful nobleman is the best ally you can have. All right, then. What kind of wine is it? A silver and red, in the cellar under the rat house. It's the last barrel at the end on the right-hand side. Get a picture somewhere and take it with you. I'd like to ask you something about this wine. What is it? What, so I can just go there and take whatever I want? Yeah. No, not exactly. It would be best if no one saw you. Ah, I see. And this wine wouldn't be kept under lock and key by any chance? Um, yes, probably. But that won't stop a clever fella like you, will it? Which wine is it you want? The Sylvan Red. It's the very last keg on the right at the back. You'll recognise it easily. It's the only one that's tapped. All right. All right, then, I'll bring it. Good man. I feel quite hungry. Is someone there? What are you doing here? Get lost, or you'll have me to... Some animal. Hey, you! Huh? Hey, what? You there! Stop! 
Surrender! You've committed a crime, and I'm arresting you. Come on, then! Ah, Kurma! I've had enough of your shit. When I say clear off, I meant right now. This definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn. Crime doesn't pay. Damn it. Here's your coin, then. All right. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah! So, about that wine you sent me for. Well, have you got it? Of course. You really broke into the cellar at the rat house? I certainly did. I hope that wine's really worth the trouble I had. I don't believe it. You really broke into the cellar. You're insane. Nothing to it. I just used your key. My key? Why, you sly rogue, you. You're craftier than I thought. You can keep the key. They let me in there whenever I want anyway. Well, let's see if this wine is as good as you say. What are you waiting for? The parish priest's blessing? Come on, then. Get it down, you. Ah, now that's what I call a real wine. Silver and red. It's not like that donkey's piss they serve in this otherwise delightful establishment. You can tell from the first sip, can't you, Henry? Yeah, as you say, sir. Silver and red. The taste is unmistakable. the girls. I know, Clara. You you are, are different. <laughs> you, you deserve more. Mm. You deserve flowers. <laughs> what? You, what? What kind of um, flowers do you like? Ah, uh, well, 
I like all kinds. I like dandelions, uh. sage, not weed, and poppies. I really like poppies. Oh, Henry, did you hear that? <laughs> what? The lady requests da dandelions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, s sage, mm -hmm. uh, cabbages. <laughs> Right. <laughs> no, no, not weed and puppies. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you want me to go flower picking now? I know, I know. I'm putting you to work again. But if you do it, I'll give you scrivency flowering groschen. <laughs> <laughs> that much. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Uh, uh, no. What was it she said? Sage something, something else. Um, uh, roses? Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the upper castle garden.
Yeah. What the hell are you doing here? I'd like some privacy if you don't mind. Come for my wench. Well, as you can see, I'm not your wench or anyone else's, so fuck off. What are you doing with my Clara, you cunt? Archie, stop that. He's just bathing here. Bathing here, is he? When all the wenches but you are whores. Archie! What are you whoring now, too? That's enough, Archibald! <laughs> Archibald? <laughs> You shut your mouth, I'm not done with you! No, I swear the gentleman hasn't touched me. Actually, that's quite true. Um, well, mostly. No, nothing happened. Nothing. We can talk about this later. First, I'm dealing with this bastard! I'd like to see you try, arson balls. <laughs> arson balls! <laughs> For the love of God, stop it, both of you! Fuck you now. <laughs> Hey! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> 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 Drown a nobleman. Oh shit. <sighs> Fuck. <coughs> so, I, I didn't know. Get out of my sight. Go on before I remember I can have you hung. I apologize, your lordship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Archie, wait. Oh. Whew. I nearly got drowned by arson balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least relaxing bath I've ever had. Fuck, I feel like I've swallowed the Baltic. Oh, drinking will be the death of you. Damn right. Is there any wine left? Are you out of your fucking mind? You want to carry on? Of course. Well, don't tell me you don't fancy a drink after all that.
what will you do with them, Sir Hans? <laughs> what, with our symbols? I don't know. What do you think I should do with them? He was drunk and insane with jealousy. I'm sure he'll be sorry when he sobers up. And he tried to drown a nobleman. I can't just let him off. He didn't know who you were. Anyway, if you let him off, you'll show that you're the better man. I suppose you're right. Fuck him. <laughs> but we had some pretty good sports, eh? Good luck then. Thank you.